yeah. Um, today the topic is can you really set up switching in GNS3? Well, people have said you cannot do switching in there because of the A6, all right? Um, the sort of design that uh, switches rely upon hardware wise cannot be emulated in um, GNS3. And of course, GNS3 provides that Ethernet switch over here, as you can see on the left hand side here. But you can see I have a layer 3 switch in there. And when I go into commands and do, for example, VLAN database, and I type uh, VLAN 20, um, exit that, come to VLAN 20 description. Oh, hang on there what's going on here all right let's go back there interface read on 20 description perfect so that is a um, uh, data network okay so um and i can also exit that and go to an interface uh, let's have a quick look at uh, the interface names here so let's for example take fuzz ethernet one two okay interface fuzz ethernet one slash two and i can type sweet port mode access sweet port access vlan 20. okay let's have a quick look uh, show vlan sweet brief and here we go. So VLAN 20 has first Ethernet 1, 2, as you can see there. All right. So you can actually do switching in GNS3. But how do you go about it? Do you go ahead and just add a switch this way? <laughs> That's laughable. No, you don't do it this way. But you can emulate a switch like that. Um, well, s s sort of, you know, um, with an image that I'm going to show you now. Uh, but what you do is you go to edit preferences and uh, head over to iOS routers here now I have added this layer 3 switch now um, the image itself is uh, C3725 as you can see there but normally you come down to new um, add a new image you browse and there it is uh, will you say yes and once you've done that when you go next you select this as it's an ether switch router okay give it a good name uh, you can call it uh, my layer 3 switch for example and then click next and of course it's done I don't need to do that because I already have it here and as you can see um, do you cancel that and when I go back into that if you can see we can show version and that is a real cisco ios you can actually emulate better switching here now you can build a full spanning tree of course the image is quite old and so it won't support uh, the likes of mstp and rstp and pvst and all that um, but of course you can build a full spanning tree topology in here and instead of using uh, GNS3's favorite Ethernet switch, which you can't console in, you can use this. So this is a quick one uh, to tell you that yes, you can do switching um, in GNS3. And uh, to run it up, let's just go comp to interface VLAN 20 and activate an IP address. You see that? IP address, I can use 10.10.10 .10 .10 and let's give it um, 1. And it says slash 30, 255, 255.255.252. No shut. And there it is, it's up. I can go into the router and configure it, and I can ping each other because the, I'll put this device in here. But there's a quick one to let you know. Definitely, you can set up switching in GNS3. So uh, look for that image. And that image is um, Catalyst Switch 3725. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this um, video. It's a quick one, I know, um, but it does help you to understand 
of the possibilities are endless with Genesis 3 and don't be held back uh, when you can use this ethos switch learn a few commands from here um, and then you can build a, f a proper switching network okay thank you for viewing and I'll see you in the next one